Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and we want to welcome all those joining us by audio and video. God bless you all. Amen. I hope that you had a very Merry Christmas. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Listen, He wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. And he wants to correct us, you know. Once in a while, we get out of out of course, and he wants to give back thing, back on course. Yeah. Amen. So remember this, and he's not finished with you yet. The Lord's not finished with you. He had great plans for you. That's why it's so important that we, we have relationship, so we know that he has great plans for us, yeah. and he wants to use you. Bible talks about the body of Christ. It talks about the physical body. This physical body. There's many parts. But there's one body. Mm -hmm. We're the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. And this physical body, all these parts of this physical body, they work together and they work in unity. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do as a church of God. Amen. As a body of Christ. So praise God. We're going to continue with the old is out, the new is in. Amen. If you don't know, it's time to grab on. Amen. So hold on. Here we go. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You know, let's make this declaration together. Grab your Bibles. Yes. Amen. Grab your Bibles. So grab somebody who's got a Bible next to you. And, and here we go. Declaration. Amen. This is my Bible. I have one since I have I have one since I have I can do all things. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking for the God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. It says my, my mind is alert. The battlefield is right. the mind. The mind. And that's yes. what the enemy uses the most. Uh -huh. That's why it's so important. We do what the Word of God says. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. Because you start to thinking things. And the enemy put the thoughts there that will take you off course. So yes. we want to renew our mind with what the Word of God says. Uh -huh. So that we can get back on course. Yes. And do what the Word says. Amen. Right. And believe what the Word says. Yes. And not what people say. Or what so and so says. That you're not good. That he can't use you anymore. He, you can't do this. Wait a minute. That's not what the word of God says. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to put it on the shelf. Delete. And start again. And do what God calls me to do. Yes. Amen. So. Old is out. New is in. Praise God. Amen. Thank you Lord. Let's go to Philippians. Uh, we're going to start with a couple of texts here. Philippians. And we've read this already. But Philippians chapter 3. Mine starts off with a high calling of God. Listen, if you don't know any more, or if you don't know, mm -hmm. it's a high calling to serve God. Yes, it is. The Bible says Jesus came to serve, uh -huh. not to be served. So if Jesus can show us how to be, if, if he's our example of serving, uh -huh. then we can serve also. Yes. Amen. We can serve also. But it says a high call of God, not as though I have, at verse 12 through uh, we're going to read verse 12 through 14. Not as though I have already attained, mm -hmm. either uh, were already perfect, but I follow after it, after, if I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ. Verse 13 says, Brethren, I count not myself to have uh, uh, apprehended, but this one thing I do. Yeah. This one thing I do is facing <laughs> those things which are behind. Amen excuse me, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth for those things which are before. Yes. Amen? So let go of the past. And verse 14 says, I, and that's you, yes. we talk about personalizing your Bibles uh -huh. and put your name where it says, I, you, me, whatever, yes. Yes. and put your name on there. It says, I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. It's a high calling. Yes. How do you receive it? Yeah. Amen. You have a personal relationship. Mm -hmm. How do you receive this high, this call? Is it just a, a thing to come and sit in church and you know and, and meet a quota? Or, you know, no. It's a high calling of God. Yeah. And Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you don't know what else to say, just show up and say thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. But it's a high call of God. Amen. So let's remember that. Also, let's turn to Second Corinthians. Chapter 5. And we know all these things, but you know what? We use the Word of God to remind ourselves. We use the Word of God to uh, learn. Amen? So praise yeah. God. Second Corinthians chapter 5. And we do use the Bible. 
the word of God. Amen. 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 Second Corinthians chapter five. And like I say, you all know these things. Amen. But that's okay, let's go over it and yes. review it Amen. and learn right. from it. You know, when you go climb up that ladder, you've been up that ladder so many times, but guess what? You gotta take one step at a time to get to the top. Yeah. Right. Amen. You can't just go from the top to the I mean, from the bottom to the top. Amen. You got to take one step at a time. One day at a time. Amen. So, one day, when you read that scripture over again, you're going to find out, wow. It means something different to you. That means you mature. You've grown in the things of God. So, don't see yourself as not growing. You are growing in the things of God. Amen. So, verse 17 says, well, therefore, if any man, again, you could put your name there. Mm -hmm. If any man be in Christ, mm -hmm. he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Yes. Behold, all things are right. become new. Right. 18 says, and all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Christ Jesus or Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever told you before and nobody's going to come out and tell you. That's you have a ministry. Mm -hmm. A ministry of reconciliation. Of bringing people to Christ. Somebody prayed you here. Somebody witnessed to you that brought you to Christ. Amen. Reconcile you back to Christ so you can do the same thing. And we're supposed to do the same thing for everybody else. You know, Christ died for everyone. Yes, for God so loved the world, he sacrificed his son mm -hmm. for everybody, not just somebody. Yes, yes. But they have a choice to make. Yes. Right. Receive or reject. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank God we received. Amen. Amen. Uh, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. So you do have a calling in your life yes. from God. Yes, we do. Not from people. Don't try to please people. Be, be God pleasers, not people pleasers. Amen. Amen. And verse 19 says, To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, uh, and hath committed and committed us unto us the word of reconciliation yeah. verse 20 says now then we are ambassadors uh -huh. we scratch the weed put yourself there yeah. says we are ambassadors mm -hmm. for Christ as though God did beseech you mm -hmm. by us we pray you in Christ's stead be ye reconciled to God and verse 21 says for he has uh, made him to be sin for us yes. who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God. Amen. So where tells us we are to where uh, ministers of reconciliation and we're his ambassadors. And we're going to be learning a few more. Let me read it to you here from the uh, New, Trans New Living Translation. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has been made a new person. Mm -hmm. I'll say this now. <laughs> People you know, All right. your enemies... But people you know, family, uh -huh. <laughs> friends, <laughs> always going to disqualify you oh, yeah. or tell you you're not what the Word of God says. That's why it's so important you know what the Word says. Because when people say, you're not called to do that, you can't do that. The Word of God says you can do all things to Christ. Things. Amen. And you're a new person in Christ. When you ask Jesus in your heart, and we're going to talk about this, when you ask Jesus come into your heart, be your Lord and Savior. You had a spiritual birth. It's a new, uh, uh, yeah, spiritual birth. So they can't see the spiritual birth because that was an inside thing. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual thing. Yeah. But they still see the you, the old you, or the new you, whatever. They see your your physical appearance, and you haven't changed outside. You've changed inside. Yeah. Amen. So let's remember that. The old life is gone. The new okay, okay, let me let me let me start over. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, the new life has begun. The old is out, new is in. And all of this is a gift from God. He brought us back to himself through to Christ. God has given us this task. Yes. God has given us this task. He's given us something to do. Amen. Yeah. Of reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Mm -hmm. No longer counting people's sin against them. Yeah. People are going to hold it against you. Oh, and they're right. going to remind you. Okay. And the enemy is going to use the mind.
that remind you he had he didn't forgive you. Mm. Amen. He's gonna use people that are not born again yeah. to bring you to, to come and, and tell you these things. Okay. Amen. So let's remember this. He's clever. Part times Christians are no match to a full time devil. That's He's gonna use people. He's gonna be clever to keep you in the lost. Amen. Mm -hmm. So reconciling people to himself for God was in Christ reconciling the world himself no longer counting people sin against them mm -hmm. and he gave us the wonderful message of reconciliation yeah. good news not bad news not sad news so we are Christ's ambassadors God yes. is making his appeal through us we speak for Christ when we plead come back to God come back home remember the story of the prodigal son he took off just like us, you know, we, we go into the world. <laughs> leave mom and dad, oh, leave everything boy. behind, and we go into the world. We want to do our own thing. Mm. But the prodigal son found out, you know, the world had him. Mm -hmm. And he was living in ways that he didn't want to live. That's it. So he finally says, I need to come back home to God. Mm -hmm. I need to come back to Father's house. Father's house. And he yes. did. But Father never gave up on him. You know, the Bible says that he looked down the road every day <clears throat> waiting for son to come home. God don't give up on us. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for all of us to come home. Yes. Amen. So let's remember that. And don't give up on your sons and daughters. Yes, yes. Don't give yes. up on your grandchildren. Don't give up on anyone. Because he never gives up on us. Yes, yes. Our task. We're called. We're anointed. We're equipped. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he says so. Yes. Not because the world says so. Mm -hmm. Amen. The world's never going to qualify you for anything. No, right. You're all you. You're always going to be disqualified for him, mm -hmm. but he's called us and qualified us mm -hmm. on this commission, on this mission, on this assignment, on this uh, charge, mm -hmm. on this job, on this duty. Yes. Reconciling is bringing people to Christ, reuniting yes. people to Him. Ambassadors, being a representative of Jesus, a uh, special agent of Jesus, yes. diplomat, His mouthpiece on earth. He's the hand, we're the body. So what is He going to use? He's going to use His body. The body of Christ, that's you, reconciling people to him. So yeah. I can't go where you go, but wherever you go, you could be that Jesus uh, special agent. Yeah. Bringing people to Christ, that's amen. Good. Sharing yeah. Jesus, you know, yeah. when they open the door, people are jealous. And people uh, just wants to know, what is your problem, you know? Mm -hmm. You're always on time. You're always faithful. You're you're always smiling. What is the problem with you? They say, I don't have a problem. I have Christ in my life. Amen. And you can have Christ too. They open the door, step in, and yes. let them know what is yes. driving me. Jesus is driving me. Yeah. Not the world, not people, yes. but Jesus is driving me. Yes. Amen. Woo, come on now. I'm preaching better than amen to me now. <laughs> Everybody gets a chance at a new beginning. Yeah. Here's the thing is, it's your choice. Yeah. Are you willing to take that choice? Mm -hmm. Confessing and living or dying and frying <laughs> is your choice. <laughs> oh. Romans 10, 9 and 10 in the King James says, If thou shalt confess with your mouth, if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord uh -huh. Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God yeah. has raised you, raised him from the dead, yeah. thou shalt be saved. Amen. It says, any, this is for anybody. But you have to confess with your mouth. Amen. Not with mom and dad's. Not yes, with the yes. friends. Not with mine. The pastors. Or no, with your mouth. Your you got to say it yourself. I want him in my life. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Verse 10 says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yes. So I want to encourage you that there is hope in him. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's hope. Some don't accept the new beginnings and the change yes. because mm -hmm. they are so set in their ways. Come on down. Oh my goodness. Come on down. We're, we're, we're going to hit something right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so set in my ways, ways of doing things in life mm -hmm. and work, my religious preferences, mm. mindsets, attitudes, outlook, beliefs, convictions. Mm. So set. So said, we won't change regardless of what the Word of God says. Mm, that's we're going to get into traditions. Okay? That's but we're so sad, no matter who says what. <laughs> I was brought up a certain way. But when I found what the Word of God says, mm -hmm. I changed to what the Word of God says. Amen. When you find out it, you've heard mm -hmm. and so-and-so says, mm -hmm. 
and so and so tells you something, can you have do you do you have scripture for it? What's the word of God says about it? Yeah. If they can't give you scripture and it's not in the word of God, go with what the word of God says. Yes, yes. You, sometimes you might stand by yourself, mm -hmm. but you're not alone because he's with you. Amen. Yes. Amen. God is with you. Amen. Yes. Wherever you go, whatever you do, God is with you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Let's remember that. In something else I, I, I wrote, it says religion, religion rules. Yeah. Religion rules. Man-made rules that you'll never fulfill. That uh -huh. you can never you can never accomplish with a little bitty bit of God in it. Amen. Christianity is religion. I mean relationship, relationship, <laughs> relationship mm -hmm. with Him. Yes. Studying His Word, and when you know the Word, it says the truth is going to set you free. Yeah. So Christianity is relationship and the truth and set free. You're going to be set free from mindsets, from things that have been holding you back. Yes. Amen. So let's be free. Let's be set free. Amen. Amen. Let's no longer be a slave to these things. Yes. Amen. Traditions. Here we go. Conduct, behaviors, born this way. Don't try to change me. I'd rather die than change. Oh, I've heard, heard these. And I know you've heard some. And I know you can name a few. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going to change me. Tradition. Mm -hmm. Listen to what the dictionary says about tradition mm -hmm. an inherent established and a customary pattern of thoughts actions and behavior such as religious practices or social customs mm. so set in our ways nobody can move me i'm just going to mm -hmm. be this way amen whether i live or whether i fry mm. i'm going <laughs> to stay with it i'm going to stay with it but what we're doing is we're pleasing people yes. and we're lost we're not going to finish this so I just want to let you know we're going to continue with this into the new year. Amen. Yeah. Have you ever tried to set concrete? Mm, oh yeah. <laughs> Once you set it, you can't yeah. move it. Yeah. And some some people are like this. Yeah. Once they're set, they're so focused, you know, you can't change me. This is That's the way it. I am. Don't try anything or anyone uh, to mess our set ways, our easy patterns, our comfy zones. Our home times, our work times, our off times, or anything. We are very comfy. Why pick me? Amen. You know, God called Noah. God called Moses. He called Noah to build an ark. He says, what's an ark? He said, well, I'm going to send a flood, so I want you to build an ark. He said, what's the flood? <laughs> you know, he called you to do silly things that you think is silly. But guess what? He knows. And he said, I've never built an ark before. How do we do this? Well, he might call you to do some things that you've never done before. But guess what? I can do all things through Christ. Yes. I can do Amen. all things through Christ. And I'm going to step out in faith. Amen. Step out in faith. Amen. That's what we need to do. Step out in faith, Praise not God. in fear for right. the just. We're going to walk in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, Amen. Um, why pick me? I'm already set in my ways. No one can change me. I don't want to change. I'm not good. I'm nobody. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything. I can't do nothing right. Mm. Why? Because people tell me. My family tells me. Well, friends tell me. I can't do anything well, right. Sad. We don't have to listen to that. That's not yes. what the Word of God right. says about you. Mm -hmm. Amen? And that's not what He called you to do. Mm -hmm. He didn't call you to be a loser. He called you to be a, a champion. He called you to be a winner. Mm -hmm. But we have to see ourselves the way He sees us. Amen? Amen? This is the way you want to see yourself, the way He sees you. Amen? Hallelujah. He says, pick somebody else. You know, for example, Moses. Moses says, I can't talk. <laughs> Jonah says, God says, go to Nineveh. God wants you to go preach over there. <laughs> he went the other way. Mm -hmm. He got swallowed by a big fish. <laughs> Elijah told him, to, hey, Elijah. Well, Paul, Peter, all these Bible heroes, all these Bible heroes had sinned, did sin. But still, God used them in a mighty way. Yeah. Peter says, he denied Jesus. And Jesus still used them yeah. to preach powerful messages to bring people into the kingdom of God. I don't yeah. care what you've done. Yeah. You come to Christ and leave the past behind. You're a new, mm -hmm. new you. And God's going to use you mightily. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. Uh, <laughs> we're, so, <laughs> we're so sad in these beliefs. Like setting concrete. Only the power can help us 
us now. He wants to remold you. He wants to reshape you. He wants to start all new. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do. Amen. So I hope you get it, church. I'm going to stop right there. and uh, But I want you to receive because he's speaking to you. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you've done in the past. God wants to use you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Big or small has nothing to do with it. Age has nothing to do with it. Yes. Color has nothing to do with it. it. Amen. Size has nothing to do with it. Amen. Just being a child of God and being uh, obedient and available for him to use you. That's the key thing. Are you available? Mm -hmm. Don't let the world disqualify you from what God has already qualified you to do. Amen. Amen. You receive it? Amen. Say yes. Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise God. For well, me too. Praise God. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to uh, read and study your word and, and uh, hear your word, Father, and to grow from it, Father. Thank you for each and every one that's listening right now. And if you never, if you never, we're almost closing out this year. If you never ask Jesus in your heart, now is the time. You know, so all you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know yeah. what? He's going to accept you yeah. with open arms. You know, you've yeah. walked a long ways one way. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It only takes one step in the right way to be right with him. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. If he needs healing in your body. Just touch that part, amen, or just confess the word, what the word of God says. He says, yes. by Jesus' stripes, we are healed. Yes. I am healed, amen. amen. So every area in your body, touch right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, yes. Lord. And we rebuke the spirit of infirmity and command it right. to go in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Praise God. Uh, the time to sow. So all of you watching and listening, uh, uh, just go to our website, NBC Big Ben. Dot com and if you're mailing it NBC PO Box 252 Marfa Texas 79843 Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.